What is up everybody, it's your boy Rogue here. So, I'm scrolling through my YouTube feed and I see the legendary Your Yu-Gi-Oh! channel posted a video that really grinded my gears and triggered the hell out of me, man. The video was titled, My Wife Left Me Because of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm just here thinking to myself, that's messed up. I have to talk about that because I'm already kind of realizing what's gonna be said in the video because I've been through it. Not necessarily a girl leaving me for Yu-Gi-Oh, but I've been judged heavily for playing this card game, especially well into my 30s. And a lot of us ha who have, especially those of us who do it on the YouTube scene, at least I can say for myself, I'm gonna speak for myself, have still received scrutiny here and there till this day about not being a mature adult. So I clicked the video, 90 seconds in, I'm already feeling bad for homie because listen to what has happened in, in this um, discussion of what was going on in a relationship, he, as for you guys that do not know, let me feel you guys who your, your channel is. Go check him out, by the way. Classy YouTuber. He was Team Samurai before Team Samurai was a thing. The dude was on his way to 100K subs back when, if you had 100K subs in the YouTube scene, you might as well have a million, that's like having a million subs in the regular YouTube scene because there wasn't anybody with 100k subs outside of like Asian Eyes, White Dragon, and then there was your Yu-Gi-Oh channel. If you know who those are, you know. Classic YouTube shit, right? And apparently, he met a girl along the way and went from being an entrepreneur to working a regular nine to five, being freaking miserable. And a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh players deal with this because we find partners who want to live a normal lifestyle. When I say normal lifestyle, I mean but you might date a girl, or if you date guys, you might date a guy, whatever you're into. And that person might just wanna live a normal, regular lifestyle, which is, they might just be used to dating somebody who likes to watch sports, go to work, come home, pay the bills, went to college, did the college thing, et cetera. But a lot of us Yu-Gi-Oh players, especially to play this expensive ass car game, we're entrepreneurs, we travel, we spend hours play testing, but it's for the love of the game because it's, it's genuinely our hobby. And essentially, from watching his video, he was just pretty much saying, yeah, he dated his wife, and eventually she started complaining about him playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And he thought to himself, maybe I should quit this Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. And when he said complain, I could just only imagine her just in his ear all day. Ah, you, you not a man, you ain't doing this, you ain't doing that. Oh, you playing Yu-Gi-Oh! That's, that's kid stuff, grow the F up. That's all crap I've heard in previous relationships I've been in on top of, you know, just dealing with everyday other people in their mid to late 20s, early 30s who are very judgmental of my hobby, which is why I don't deal with a lot of those people to this day. And I genuinely felt really bad for bro because I'm just like, bro, I know the pain he's experiencing it. I can hear it in his voice. And I had to leave a comment saying, bro, F that bitch because who the hell do people like that think they are to judge us for playing our car game? I'm, I want to make this video to say this to anybody who be my, might be part of my subscribership or anybody who might come across this video. If you are dating somebody and you are a nerd, a geek, you like Warhammer, Magic, Pokemon, Digimon, One Piece, you're into anime, no matter what the hell you're into, if your partner do not respect you for you, fuck them. You don't need them in your life. Life is too motherfucking short, y'all. Too short to be dealing with people who have their nose so high up in the freaking sky that they're gonna judge the person who they land down with and giving their body to of what they do for their hobbies. Cause I guarantee you, bro, I guarantee you, if he was just a regular dude, just going to work, going home, cheating, she'd probably be more accepting of that type of crap anyway, mainly because in mainstream society, that's the norm. Toxic relationships, people cheating, they think every dude's a woman beater. All this BS crap that they put in the media to brainwash us to not be who we truly are. And you know, like I said, when he told, when he mentioned in the video, because you guys should definitely check out the video, by the way. His link gonna be in the description down below. He mentioned in the video, and he talked about how his wife's parents didn't want to be with him because he didn't have a college. They want her to be together because he didn't have a college degree. They all, He also mentioned that, you know, she pretty much, once she pretty much henpecked the hell out of him, 
it kind of low-key forced him to freaking give up his channel. And I remember him most in a video years ago saying how he's quitting Yugi Tube to pursue other passions. He's trying to sell the channel. He made about 600 bucks a month off the channel. And I always thought that was the craziest thing in the world, mainly because it's like, that's a lot of freaking money you're going on the table. Now I know some people 600 bucks might not be a lot of money, but that's a good chunk of change. And I can only imagine if he never quit while his channel was booming, the amount of money he'd have now. So I'm not trying to rub it in, I know it's kind of sounding like that, but it's just letting you know, guys, don't give up your dreams for a bribe, bro. Like real talk, it ain't that serious. If you're dating somebody or any girls that may be watching, if you're dating a dude who don't like what you do, what hobbies you like, F them. Who, who are they to judge you guys? Like real talk, who are they to judge you guys? Like are, we was born in this world alone, we're gonna die alone. And even if we die with people by our side, guess what? We're gonna, when we get buried, unless we're getting buried at the same time, we're going to that ground by ourselves. So you better off living life to the fullest on your own terms than trying to please an unpleasable person who pretty much, probably jealous that you can live your life and be who you are as a happy person and they can't do what they want without being freaking judged for it. Like, I know tons of dudes who are closet nerds growing up. This is a big issue in the millennials, in the millennial age group. Gen Z, I don't think you guys deal with it as much, but a lot of millennials dealt with this shit where playing card games, watching anime in the early 2000s, late 90s, that shit wasn't the norm. So we used to get judged by it a lot from our peers, family, girlfriends. I, I knew a buddy personally who every girl he talked to, he hid his card hobby from him. Reason being is because he knew that he was gonna get judged for playing cards and that, that girl might not want to mess with him again. Me personally, I never gave a fuck. You know why? Like I said at the end of the damn day, this is my life, my hobby. If you don't like it, get the fuck away from me. Who, who are you? Now, have I simped and did things against my will for people I've dated and messed with? Of course I have. I ain't perfect. I ain't God. I ain't no super Chad who just put his foot down on everything. You know, I've been soft, you know what I'm saying? But that's the reason why I'm so passionate about this topic because I know how it feels to be judged for doing the thing that you love to do and even making you want to quit. There was a short period of my time where I actually let the damage get to me and I felt like maybe I was wasting my time uploading content on YouTube. Maybe I was wasting my time playing cards. And I think about it all the freaking time and I realized, bro, I am so glad I played cards throughout my entire high school years, college years. Now there's other things I was into, but the fact that I got to experience on a high competitive level, traveling, tournaments, the pressure, thinking under stress, thinking under pressure, that put me way ahead of a lot of other people in life, especially when it comes down to dealing with stress at work, dealing with BS at home, I contribute all of my progress and limiting and my, all my you know patience from playing card games. Card games is a really stressful thing to do, but once you do it and master it and you get good at it, you realize the benefits carry over into life tenfold. So, you know, I guess to wrap this video, because I don't want the video to be too freaking long. Like I said, I didn't want to go over every little detail in the video because I mean, it's his business at the end of the day. I just want to give my opinion on it to let you guys know. Even if he watches this video, bro, be thankful that you left that relationship without having a kid by that crazy bra because in all honestly, you'd be 10 times more miserable. I've seen it before and it sucks. <laughs> so just be thankful that you, that you left without, you know, not having much in that person eyes and you left without having it, without having um, a kid in the, in the mix. So that, that's when things get a lot messy when you have a kid, when situations end like that. But yeah, man, and the people who do that shit, man, that's not cool, dude. That is not freaking cool at all. Totally uncalled for. And you know, people joke in the Yu-Gi-Oh community. I've seen a few laughing emojis on them. Zodiac Duelist post for it. But I'm just sitting there for like, man, that's not cool, dude. But like, male, like I really believe in male mental health, man. And you know, we deal with a lot of bullshit on a daily basis anyway. So like, I feel for I feel for JFF, bro. I really do feel for him. And um. I hope he gets his mental right. Like I, I put him in his comment section, bro, get some therapy. It's gonna help a lot. I've went to therapy for a lot of issue, issues, toxic relationships, because I've been there. Therapy helps a lot, man. A lot of dudes need to seriously help get into some therapy. Or if you don't feel comfortable getting to therapy, chat GPT. 
every time I'm feeling stressed, pressure, and I want to vent to somebody and I don't want to pay for no therapist, I go on chat GPT, type in my issue, and I get a lot of help. You just tell, you gotta tell the AI program to, hey, pretend you're my therapist. This is what I'm going through. Give me advice that a therapist will give me. And chat GPT will definitely give you a lot of different tips and tricks to help get over some BS that you might be dealing with, man. But like I said, in conclusion though, as a recap, um, like I said, you're a good channel. Wife left him because of his him playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Completely wrong, completely bogus. And you know, I hope he learned and don't deal with her ever again because a person like that would never change. They're always gonna judge you. And he did mention that his fa her family didn't like him either. So it's like, yeah, screw them folks too. And for ever, anyone else who might be dealing with that in my comment section, man, or who I've dealt with that before that's watching this video, let me know what you guys' experience was, man. Let me know how you guys uh, went about it because me personally, Anytime I dealt with somebody or a chick who didn't like my nerdyism, like I remember one time I was messing with a chick and she went to the bathroom and I, I was on her Netflix, so I put on Power Rangers Time Force. She was like, you're watching that? Ew, I hope my friends don't see that you got that on my uh, watch history because she let her friend use her Netflix password. And I was just like, and like, why Why do you care? Like, like people be, be, people be so judgmental, but these would be the same folks that go to clubs, waste a lot of money popping bottles, They'll waste a lot of money going to sports teams, getting drunk on weekends, and blowing money just really damaging their body. Like, but they want to judge us nerds for having fun in a positive way when we're not hurting nobody. Now, I don't know if this is the situation, but I'm I'm gonna I'm assuming it's not based on how like, I've met your Yuga channel one time in person. He doesn't seem like this type of dude, and just based on his video, I can tell he's not this type of dude. There's a big difference from card players who pick cars before everything in their life versus car players who try to have a balanced lifestyle, but their girlfriend and friends and family just judge them for it. Like getting judged by your friends, family and girlfriends, like whatever, get them people out of your life. You don't need them anyway. But if you are a car, I gotta, I gotta make, make sure I make the stamp on this. If you're a car player who pick cards before everything, you're in the wrong for that. Because if you have a girlfriend, you can't get mad at her if she leaves you. If instead of taking her on dates, you go on to locals every damn day. Like instead of planning trips, you rather go to a YCS. It's okay if you do both, but you gotta have a balance in that shit. Cause I also, I've also known people growing up who were the extreme where it's like, it was cards or, and everything else got pushed to the side. And then they got kind of got mad when a girlfriend judged, judged them for it and or got mad and started fucking with their cars, ripping them up and things like that. Not saying it is right, but in situations like that, if you know you got a really bad car habit and you never plan time for your family, your girlfriend and et cetera, you can't get mad when people judge you because at that point you're affecting everyone else around you. But at the same time though, if you are balancing those things out and you're, you have a healthy Yu-Gi-Oh habit, there's nothing wrong with that. And you should not be ashamed about it. You shouldn't care if people judge you about it. You should be able to live your life the way you see fit. So, with all being said, man, your Yu-Gi-Oh channel, if you see this video, hope I hope things get better for you, bro, real real talk. I hope you find you another queen that's gonna accept you for who you is. Actually, I know you are because, dude, you're a smart guy. I can tell from when I, at one time I met you at YCS Columbus. You have a successful YouTube channel still, grind it out. Build that shit up and you'll be good, bro. Don't, don't even worry about that, bro. Cause like, honestly, she wasn't nothing anyway. She didn't see the potential in you anyway. I do, your fans do. F all the haters, bro. It's your boy Rogue and I'm signing out, peace.